today is swimming. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Was swimming good? Yeah. So well, what hurt? Yeah, it doesn't mean it's good. What was good about swimming? Um, now we got to play an easy river. Daddy says five more minutes and then we stayed in like that for another 20 minutes. Is that bad parenting or poor timekeeping? Who knows? So what are we going to do now? Um, we're going to get some like, chips and nuggets for me. And Jamie? I don't know. Well, we're going to have some chips. Some pan fried foie gras maybe. What? No, probably not. Right, we're going to go and find somewhere to have some nice lunch as opposed to the swimming pool cafe and get some petrol and head home. Feel invigorated after all that swimming. What's the plan for today after we get home? How much homework? Xbox. How much homework are we going to do? Zero. So lunch is over. It was lovely. I'm now completely stuffed. Guess where we are? <laughs> Amazing, just been. I'm in, in love again. More than, no, not more than Finky, but uh, oh my god, absolutely stunning. Let's go and have a look. There's a new dealer in town. Um, amazing cars. I mean, they've got four in the showroom, but they are stunning. I don't know if you can see them, probably can't really see them behind there, but oh, 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 absolutely stunning. <gasps> soon, my friend, soon. Are you? Entrepreneur. What does what do I mean even mean by that? So basically, something I see. And I'm, this is not a rant. I'm still uh, still all rainbows and unicorns. But something that I, I find baffling, and I kind of get why. But I suppose it's the question to you: Is are you a entrepreneur? And it comes to that. The word entrepreneur, great. That's all amazing. But I think the thing is with the word, it's become very, very kind of trendy and fashionable to be an entrepreneur. And so the very essence and nature of an entrepreneur is taking um, an idea or something and then sort of developing that into a business or um, somehow sort of profit or something like that. That's basically an entrepreneur. But it seems to be that everyone who has a home business is now an entrepreneur. Um, and it's kind of sort of, it's almost like watered down the whole meaning of it because entrepreneur, someone who's a true entrepreneur, say someone like um, Gary Vee or Richard Branson, etc., Elon Musk, who kind of said, take the idea and hustle, hustle, hustle and create this thing. Now, lots of times they hustle, hustle, hustle and things don't work. It just falls on its ass. Um, but that's the nature of it. You have some wins, you have some losses. That's life. But that's an entrepreneur. Um, Having um, a home business that's essentially, say, I'm trying to think of some Avon, for example, nothing against Avon, but you know, Avon, where you're sort of selling some cosmetics to people, stuff like that, that does not make you an entrepreneur. So, essentially, what we said that having a network marketing business is not really being an entrepreneur, also not really owning a business. You're kind of a sales representative or almost like a franchise and it's not really a business that you own as such you are just sort of a representative for a company and even if you're branding yourself um, if you're just sort of doing the network marketing stuff then it's not really a business uh, obviously that you can see there's an argument either way for that but the point is is this sort of fixation on the word entrepreneur now that in itself perhaps is not too bad but then you've got the fact that it's now the, how can I put this? It's sort of the elongation of that term into everything. And it makes me sound like a real grumpy old git, but it's it's just bizarre. And it's kind of, I'm just baffled by it because it's the more, not that it, there's some sort of special sanctity of being an entrepreneur or anything like that, but it's the the watering down of the, of the meaning almost in itself waters down the, um, what it means to to be doing that role and therefore people think it's easy and it kind of knock on effect that everyone's an entrepreneur now and everyone thinks it's easy but then they don't get the results and etc so where i'm going with this is basically the, the all the total terms like mumpreneur um retiredpreneur i can't think of there's there's travelpreneur there's all these ridiculous 
titles that people come up with because they've got a part-time business opportunity that makes them a expreneur or preneur. And it's like, oh, it's people are more seem to be worried about or fixated on the, the job title or um, that bigging themselves up as opposed to just doing the hustle or doing the work and creating the business on the life of their dreams, etc. And there's not a problem with any of it, whether it's network marketing, affiliate marketing, what it, or bricks and mortar business, whatever your business is, that's fine, you know, and whether you're focused on being becoming the next kind of Richard Branson or you just want an extra few pounds or dollars each month to sort of pay the bills. It doesn't matter. That's not the principle here. The principle is is it's all the bullshit that surrounds all of that that people get sort of sucked into and and then this is and then still not getting results and then wondering why. It's because you sort of surround yourself with all this weird crap. Um, inventive job titles and all this sort of stuff you know I, I help entrepreneurs blah, blah. but do you do you really and that's the I'm, I'm off on a little rant now but that's the thing you know if, if people if people spend more time doing what they say they're doing as opposed to just saying it then they would be absolutely super successful but unfortunately there's more time spent bigging themselves up but bigging up their profile on social media rather than just doing it so and I've, I've got a, n a huge amount of friends who are ridiculously successful I'm not saying that I am but I'm saying that, you know good friends that are ridiculously successful and they've got there through hard work and doing the right things consistently doing the right things but also if you look at them there was no kind of get along the way it was just them being them or if they did any kind of crap at the, maybe at the beginning, then it was um, it was sort of just initially till they sort of learned not to. But it's the thing of all the people who've been super successful, and probably those that are going to be successful, are just concentrating on giving value, solving problems for people, as opposed to what their job title is and and you know how um, how good they look on social media and stuff like that. That's not the point. The point is, it's adding value. I mean, it's it's perhaps the most overused phrase ever in this um, space, but you can't, that's it. That's what it's all about. Adding value to the world, adding value to other people, you know, leaving a legacy. All these terms are fundamentally what it, um, what sort of drives everything. And if you look at you know, all the super successful people, that's what they've done. They've added value. And adding value doesn't mean just doing stuff for free. Adding value does mean having, or can also means having a service or a product and selling it, but you're solving a problem. That's the point. Adding value, solving a problem to one, 10, 50, a million people. That's the principle of entrepreneurship. You know, it's, it's not just scamming people or anything like that. It's adding value, which is truly why when it comes down to any business, it's got to be something you're passionate about that you, you can, you're adding value to the other people. If you don't really care about the business, or then you're not going to have that passion. It's going to come across um, as incongruent your message, and things won't work. So whatever it is, you know, if you're passionate about knitting, that's fine. You know, that's brilliant. Go for it. But then, you know, use that passion and build something from that. And this is what Gary V says in Crushing It, uh, or Crush It and Crushing It. Um, and it's the principle, you know. Make, um, and Casey Nice that video, you know, do what you can't. It's that fundamental thing of following your passion and just doing what you absolutely love. And then everyone's got a story to tell. Everyone has got value to add to somebody somewhere. And so by doing that, it'll be great. Cut out, cut out all this crappy blah, 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 prana rubbish. Be you, deliver value, deliver your value, your gift to the world and the world will be a much better place and you'll be much happier and more successful. So I hope you got some value from this. Bit of a rant today, but you know, it's been a fun day with swimming and lunch and stuff like that. So if you have, please leave me a comment um, and a like if you have or a dislike if you haven't, you know, that's fine. You know, not everyone's going to agree. And, and if you're not already, I'd love you to subscribe. It would mean the world to me and really appreciate it and help me kind of grow this. And yeah, for now, I'll see you tomorrow.